Good evening once again. My name is Nick Gillingham. It's my absolute pleasure to bring you the IPC Swimming World Championships 2013 here in Montreal. We're going live tonight for every single final. It is the last night, I'm afraid to say. We've had seven days of fantastic racing. Medals galore spread across so many nations here at the Parc Jean Drapeau Aquatic Complex. And as ever, once again, I'm joined by the ever knowledgeable Paul Noble. Good evening, Paul. Hi, Nick. Yeah, lot to look forward to here. And there are the night's events. We have start with the men's individual medley in the SM7 class. Move on to the backstrokes for the S9 classes and finish the evening or progress through the evening. 50 freestyle events, lots of 50 events tonight. Short and sharp, 200 meters individual medley for the SM14 class, those with an intellectual disability. And we finish the championships traditionally with the medley relay event. Should be very exciting tonight. Lots to look forward to, 25 finals that we will bring you here from Montreal this evening. Scheduled to finish at 8.36, or the last final takes place at 8.36 this evening, but there's the first one. The men's 200 metres individual medley, SM7. Seven competitors go in this one, and we will see the world record holder go in lane number four, Bodeko of the Ukraine. He set the world record last year on the 2nd of September, when he took the Paralympic title. For the men's event, Tony a multi world champion he is. For the women's event, Ingmar Hahn. Quite a number of spectators here in the facility the cheering on the, the athletes the as they for the cruise event, through these sharp Justin waters. Clear waters, there have to be a certain temperature. Everything has to be to a specification. Waters can't be too cold or too warm. Everything's set for fast racing. You can see there the beefy anti-wave lane ropes that actually turn those individual uh, discs, turn as the waters break against them and it smooths the waters down. So they're referred to as the anti-wave lane ropes and of course they are the yellow touch pads at both ends of the pool. The swimmers will have very accurate split times. They'll be very aware and sure of their pace throughout the performances. And we can see the starting blocks as well. These days, very much like a, a track athlete, these swimmers will do a track start, one foot forwards, one foot back, and push off a very angled back plate on the starting block to almost take a running dive into the pool. And uh, the specification is perhaps an, uh, one of the reasons, because you have to work hard while we've seen so many records throughout the week, Paul. They didn't have those back blocks when we were swimming, did we, Nick? They're very new. They've just come in over the last couple of years, and the swimmers have adapted to them and been able to use them to their advantage. There are a couple of adaptions in disability swimming. We will see swimmers being assisted at the start in several of the classes for those with a more severe disability. We'll see the tappers for those who have visual impairments, who have no vision at all. And we might see some um, towels appearing on the blocks, especially for those with a lower limb disability, a lower limb amputation, well, just prevents abrasion at the top of those blocks because the blocks are like sandpaper, really. They are designed so that people don't slip off them when they're ready for the start. So you may well see some adaptions being used at the start. But of course, all those adaptions have to be passed by the International Paralympic Committee to make sure they are legal and appropriate to the disability of the athlete. So here we have the lineup now for the first final this evening. The men's 200 metres individual medley, SM7, one length of the pool on each stroke. There's Toledo. He goes in lane one for Brazil. La Valerie goes in lane number two for Canada, of course. Watch out for him. Wang is in three from the People's Republic of China. Boadeco. Yuveni Boadeco, the world record holder, Paralympic champion last year. He's in four. Matthew Levy goes in five for Australia. Komarov in six for the Ukraine. Pereira in seven from Brazil to complete the lineup there. So here we go. Four lengths of the pool. 
Now, Bodoiko will be the favourite for this one. In the centre lane from the team of Ukraine, they top the medal table with most gold medals at these championship. And Bodoiko is odds on to add to that. The final of the men's 200 metres individual medley SM7. About to get underway. Ooh. Bit of a wobble at the start there. Not sure what happened, but the swimmers have been asked to relax. It was the Canadian swimmer just coming off the block there. It's been assisted there by the coaches, Yevgeny Boadaiko. So test the focus of some of these athletes. But they are well trained. Most of them are full-time athletes here at these World Championships. And they are expecting delays like this, so they sh should be able to cope with it. But sometimes it's not easy to do. I think there was a, a problem with the starting signal, so we're not going to have a false start. We'll have a faulty start, so there's no swimmers that will be disqualified for this delay at the start. Nothing to do with the swimmers, it's just that the starting equipment was not functioning properly. The start now for the men's 200 metres individual medley, SM7. Well, Deco into the lead, nice off the blocks was La Valerie of Canada, but that man in the middle of the pool we always see the fastest swimmers qualify at centre of the pool. Quite traditional, really, because in older pools years ago, the waters were very choppy and we didn't have the anti-wave lane ropes that we see here, of course, smoothing out the waters. So clearly in the lead, Boadeco in lane number four, but going well in lane number three is Wang. Looks like in third is Levy for Australia, and it is just two seconds down on Boadeco. Can Wang keep in contention with Boadeco? Well, this is the backstroke length. Bodeco just about a half a body, oh, stretching the lead now. That's a good picture of a full body length and a very fast kicking rate for Bodeco. A six feet leg kick, we call that. Six kicks to every full stroke cycler. A right arm and a left arm there. So Bodeco still leading. Well, if the other two are going to catch him, they're going to have to pull up on the breaststroke. Bodeco, a very strong breaststroker, too. But very often the breaststroke leg can make a difference in the individual medley. But Bodeco with a big, big lead there. Almost four seconds over Wang and Matt Levy in third position. Canadian swimmer Lavillier lying in fifth position at the halfway stage. Ahead of him is Komarov from Ukraine. But Bodeco looking very, very strong now. And if anything, he's stretching his lead. It's going to be a battle, I think for the silver and bronze between Wang of China closest to us and Matt Levy from Australia. The Australian now pulling into clear second position but not really making much of an impression on Boadeco. Levy too, very, very strong freestyle swimmer. Expect him to be strong in the last 50, but he's got a lot to make up. Boadeco goes over 157.97. He's about half a second down on world record pace. We may well see a world record swim in the first final this evening. Yes, let's hope so. Matthew Levy perhaps left himself too much here. There's about six metres between these two competitors. Bodeko there from the Ukraine in lane four. He's been chased down by Matthew Levy. Look at the powerful kick of Levy from Australia, but that is Bodeko. He's now five metres from the finish. Bodeko's going to take the gold medal just outside the world record. 234.89. Matthew Levy did very well for silver. And coming in, in lane number three, Wang of the People's Republic of China. Good swim for him. Perhaps as we would have expected, the one, two, three there. Coming in in lane number six, Komarov. Lane number one, Toledo of Brazil.
And the Valerie's finished in fifth place unofficially, 253.86. I think the Canadian will be pleased with that result, but that man, well, for sure, he's pleased. Bodeco is the world champion. And there's a the start to the swimmers with good legs there, but very little arm function coming off very well. The Chinese swimmer Wang. And Bodeco also had a very good start. Wang staying under the water the longest. Coming up there, level with the Ukrainian. Bodeco, very strong on all four strokes. And he was very close to his own world record time, 234.89 for the Ukrainian. Stretching forward there. He's got one long arm and one short arm, uh, Bodeco. And it's very important that he shows intent. So the, the short arm has to be fully extended at the same time that the long arm is fully extended. And Bodeco coming in, clear water between him and Matt Levy just coming into shot for Australia. 234.89, Bodeco, 239.14 for Matt Levy. Some four and a half seconds behind the Ukrainian with Wang from China in third position. But a great performance, Evgeny Bodeco from the Ukraine will claim the first gold medal. But we do have a delay and we are looking at a possible disqualification for the man who finished first here, Evgeny Bodeko. Well, I wonder what happened there, Nick. Well, uh, I actually have no idea. Camera was following him for nigh on every metre of the race. Uh, there are a number of reasons why you can be disqualified, but nothing really jumped out to my mind. There's been quite a few disqualifications here at these World Championships, and it is confirmed Bodeko. The Paralympic champion from last year is not the world champion. The gold medal going to Levy, the silver to Wang, and Komarov taking the bronze. The Valerie nearly sneaking into the medals, it must be said, for Canada, but that would have been by default. But we do have a half an hour, 30 minutes, where the national teams can appeal. There's a cost to it, though. It's not cheap. 140 euros is the cost and if you lose that appeal you lose your money so they have to be absolutely sure that there was no infringement and of course these national teams all have coaches or sports scientists that video the race.